What's up Far From Film Fam? And today, I'm going to be taking over your vlog. Oh yes. My light's broken. Shut up. That explains the lighting. What is going on Far From Film Fam? So, a lot of you are doing your exams. Steven is stood behind the camera making me laugh right now. So, that's happening. But, we decided to do for you, instead of revising maths, which we probably should be doing, 10 types of people at exams. So, here they are, without further ado. We all know probably all of these, so let's relate to this together. Number one is the sniffer. <laughs> Now this is the person, it's not their fault, they just have a cold and they unfortunately have to share an exam room with everyone else sniffing their face off. And it's impossible to concentrate and sometimes they blow snot onto your work. That's how bad it is. Number two is the latecomer. They're the person who really don't care and they just walk in late and that's it really. You may use no correction fluids, correction tapes or gel pens. Finally... Sorry I'm late. Why do you think you can come here late, disturb this examination? Stay at the end, we need to talk. Number three is the student that never brings anything. Literally nothing. They probably forget to wear clothes if their mum didn't remind them this morning. I'm always that person who gives out pens to people, so I could go to school at the beginning of the year with 20 pens and the next week have no pens because I give them all away and never actually go and get them back. Uh, yes, that's almost everything. Does everybody have a black pen? Sir? Yes? Yeah, I, I don't have nothing here. The next type is the fidget. Now this is the person who can't keep still, whatever reason, whether they got something in their trousers, or they just can't concentrate, or they have loads of nerves, but they can't keep still, and they just tap away throughout the exam. It's just tap, 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 and it's so annoying. Stop it! The next type is the cheater. Now, not really a proper cheater, but the kind of cheat that we've all done. I literally did it on my last exam. When the invigilator says for you to stop writing, you always have to somehow write that last sentence. There's always a sentence that springs to mind as soon as they say that, and you just have to write it. And then you feel really cool when you probably will get away with it. That is now the end of the examination. If everybody could please put their pens down and attach their notes to the answer booklet. Uh, stop writing. Uh, stop writing now. I will get very angry. The next type is what I'm calling the page turner. Now, the first person who finishes the first page of the test will always turn the page really loudly just so everyone else knows that they are ahead of everyone else. So it actually, in real life, looks like this. But what that person is trying to say to you all is this. I'm better than all of you! The next type is the person who always needs to go to the toilet, more than once. He's a virgin, she's a virgin, oh, he is definitely a virgin. The toilet, again? That's the fifth time in the past uh, three minutes. Is, uh, is something wrong? You can't go. You have to wait till the end of the examination. Such a virgin. What did you drink before you went in that exam? Three pints of water and a pint of orange squash. I'm at the point in the video where I'm even redder than when I started, and now I look like a balloon. After every exam, there's always that one kid who likes to tell the whole world how easy it was and how amazing he's gonna do in it. Even after you spent the last two hours struggling and basically crying on the inside because of how hard you found it. And basically it just goes like this. You know, that test was so easy. That was probably the easiest test I've ever done in my entire life. I mean, wouldn't you say so, Steve? It was so easy. I'm pretty sure we both aced it. The next type of person is basically Steve in a nutshell. <laughs> This is what I'm calling the Joker. Not at all. Steve. <laughs> this is the student that will try in some way to make friends with the teachers or the examiners in the exam for no real reason other than probably just being polite or just being a real nerd. <laughs> Decide which one you are, Steve. I think you're just nice to people in a very old man kind of way. <laughs> it usually looks something like this. Hey, hey, I can't wait to go to the kitchen later on and find out the true value of pie. <laughs> And the final type of person that sits exams is the rebellious type. I kid you not, last year there was someone in my exam, they sat down and wrote absolutely nothing, went to the toilet about four times and came out with a U.
How's it going? It's alright, yeah. This is Steve, the guy you saw in all the little sketches. No, the, the cool one. Now, basically, you've never seen this guy unless you were on my last channel, Living Like Matt, which I did in 2012. Yeah, he was on there. We did a few videos together. So if you remember him, that's awesome. But it's been nearly three years since he's appeared in one of my mm. videos. Haven't grown at all. They have not grown at all. Here's actually a still from one of our Chubby Bunny videos <laughs> back in 2012. We'll put it here. We've kind of swapped hairstyles now. Steve yeah. is the short one, and I'm well. You've always been the short one, <laughs> and I have the long hair now, which is great. So thanks for being in the video, Steve. It's all right. You should probably go do some maths now, or watch some videos, or eat some cake. I like that last one. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will see you at some point. And this is the reason why I have been posting because of exams. Like seriously, every time I have free time, I'm revising. He's good, good student. student. Oh, jinx. Catch you later, far from film fam. I don't know if that works. Let's try again. <laughs> Bye, guys!